2021. This is whenever I got a call from a lady. I have worked for this lady. I used to work for her and her husband before, and uh, I had put glycol in the system. I think I even changed the uh, condensing unit over there. I used to have a train, and I put a Goodman in there. Just changed the condenser, left the con left the year handler. It's a uh, their first company units. And what she's having over there, she's got three of them. And I know there's glycol in the system. It's an oil-fired uh, boiler. And I've never serviced the boiler. She's oh, she had another guy doing the service on the boiler. She's calling me. I guess a couple of the zones aren't heating. I know it's got zone valves over there. I'm pretty sure there's zone valves. But anyway, I know she got first company units because it's heating in there. She's got a boiler that feeds the fan coil units, the first company units. And also she's got a dehumidifier, she says that's not working downstairs. I, probably the drain that's blocked. It gets slimy, the drains get slimy. So I have to blow it out. I used to winterize that house all the time. And, uh, I don't know what happened, maybe they got divorced or something and I haven't been back since. So. Anyway, she's, she called me over. She called me over the weekend where there wasn't a couple of the zones weren't working. She said she changed the thermostats in the bat, uh, batteries in the thermostats. And uh, I says, well, it's not really that cold. I wouldn't worry about it freezing up. It hasn't really gotten that cold out. So Monday was Martin Luther King Day. I couldn't go there Monday because it's a gated community. They don't want you working in there if there's holidays or weekends. Unless it's an emergency. So I told her I'd go by there Tuesday. And she was alright with that. And we're going over there and see what we could figure out. This world ain't looking very stylish this morning. Yeah, you're looking very stylish. Miss Molly. Oh, yeah, you're looking very stylish. Anyway. We'll figure out what's going on. We'll see if the boiler's got boiler temperature and we'll check the zone zone heads and make sure the thermostats are calling. They might be off on setback. I don't know. Probably because she got some old programmable thermostats there, I think. We'll make sure that the battery is not blinking low battery and we'll do one step at a time. Keep it simple, stupid. Miss Molly. I got the holes on here. Look at it. The end froze right off. It's not good. I was supposed to leave the holes on there. Typical woman, right? <sighs> this one's definitely not working. Alright, this one seems to be working. This one's 69 and 7, except for 70, so this one seems to be working. This is the other first floor one. There's one more on the second floor. Yeah. This one's definitely not working. 61 in here and 70, so I could hear it running upstairs. So there's only one zone working. Yeah, see this one's this one's Let's go see what's happening down the solar. It's calling. I think we got a bad. She's hot. That's a double old ten, I think. That's a double old ten, which I have one of them in the truck. Bad circulator. 
don't know if there's antifreeze in the system. What's good about this is I could just drain a little bit down. So we could shut it off. These are these are going up these two going upstairs. The two that aren't working. They're definitely calling. See how these are calling? The one on the first floor, the storage tank here, look at this thing. He's a little, this one's not calling for heat, but. The one on the first floor that was here is probably working gravity. It's probably working gravity, yeah. But it's not going up to the second floor. This is the, no, this is the one that's down that end. Look at a bad, look at a bad, uh... We definitely got a bad circulator. So what we're gonna have to do is shut it down, drain it down, change that out. I should have one of them in the truck. It's red hot. The bad circulator. <clears throat> I think I've changed the antifreeze on this thing before. To drain it down and pump it back in a couple of buckets shouldn't be that big of a deal I've got a bad circulator she says this thing's not working it's probably just that it's that could be that this is just frozen outside not designed to run in the winter time. It just jump this dumps out here. I mean, if it freezes, which it looks like it might have been, maybe not. Maybe maybe not. Huh? Give it the old squirt a row. Dump some water in there and see if it see if it works. Do you want to bet this frost-free silcock split? You got it off here. I got a lot of here already, but I guarantee you that this thing is probably split. Almost guarantee that. I'm not worried about that right now, but that's well, that'll be a tough one to get guarantee that thing split it's off it's off here so right, so we're gonna shut this off here we're gonna shut this off and all the zone valves 
all the zone valves will shut and they'll eliminate this supply so I'll just have to drain a little bit out to be able to get to the circulator and then we'll have to repump it back in well, I'm gonna have to drain into a bucket not a lot a little bit into the bucket we'll manage got the water feeder off got the power off all these zones should be shut off all right all these zones are shut off so what we're gonna do is we're gonna drain a little bit out so we can change the circulator I have my my pump set up already so when I drain some out it's gonna prime this pump so this is in I got my end on here so I could repump this stuff back in we're gonna drain a little bit out And then it's gonna prime this pump, All right? And we'll have to pump it back in after, but when after when I pump it in, it's already going in and out to go back in. This is gonna be changed. We don't have to take a lot out. Take a little bit out. She's a leaker, mama. She's a leaker. She's a leaker. She's a leaker. So with these off, all the water's staying up inside, right? All right, turn. Shut this off here. I don't need to purge these after anyway, so I'm just draining a little bit out. That's probably enough for what we need to do. Going with a 0015, which is a three speed Taco, which is a lot cheaper than that 0010. Looks like that relief valve's leaking too. I'm gonna change that while I'm here. Looks like that's been leaking. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check this pressure in this tank too. She's a crusty one, Mr. Grinch. We're gonna take a little bit more out of there. Take a little bit more out. All right, so I ran out and got another high vent out of my truck and a relief valve. Cause that relief valve's definitely leaking. We'll change the high vent on top of the air scoop also. Let's check the uh, pressure in the tank. Should be like 12 pounds. Oh, it's, it's not, it's not. Tank's got to be replaced too. See that? Tank's, tank's no good. So we'll change the tank. Put a shut off on it. Got to change that tank too. I got one of them in the truck. It's gonna be a pricey repair, mama. This is the wrench I like to use. It's really skinny. And I can get right in here. This one's not a problem, but a lot of times if it's right up against there, it's hard to get out. We'll see what happens with this. This one out. Tank's got no, no pressure in it, so it's gotta be replaced. I don't know how much water is going to be in there, and it might be heavy, it might not, but anyway, there's no pressure and I'm changing it. I got the other one already prepped. I got the other one already prepped as far as pipe dope. Let's see if it's heavy or not. Got to get ready because sometimes it's... Oh yeah, it's got water in it. No good. Whoa, holy shit. She's a 
the crusty one, Mr. Grinch. Give it the old screwdriver treatment. He's a pisser. He's a pisser. Smell the glycol in there. She's a waker, Mama. She's a waker. She's a waker. He's a crusty one, just a grinch. We'll just have to go put them on like hand tight, be fine. Put a new high vent on there. So obviously this relief valve is going to have to go also. Better always better to change it out. It's been leaking for a while, so look at all the crustaceans on that baby. You can see it's all. Well, I'm here. Don't cut corners when it comes to this shit, especially with this glycol in it. Should be down enough. I should be lower than that with my boiler water. Nope, not yet. Oh, that's hot. That's hot shit, Mama. She's a crusty one, Mr. Grinch. She's a crusty one, Mr. Grinch. Thirty pound, thirty pound relief valve. Oh, well. I lost a little, but no big deal. Jeez, a costly one, Mr. Grinch. Yeah, so we know that's been an issue for a while. This circulator is definitely not working. Hot. Definitely an issue. We'll put a new one in there. The spoiler's got a little water cut off on it, but that's not the problem. It's definitely. Everybody loves that stuff. This thing's gonna this thing's gonna be floating in the flipping wind, I bet you. I don't think it lasts that long on a supply.
Right, I did that push away buckle. He wasn't he, he wasn't even a uh, he was a counter guy. The guy thinks the guy's flipping like a god. Never even out in the field. Let's see if the takeout's gonna be the same. Yeah, it's about the same. See if we get the other one out of there without doing any damage. for you acquisitive minds all right there's an arrow right here so that's going up cook away I'm gonna cook it away push away to white which is the neutral for 110 and the black goes with the yellow which is the, uh, the hot hot lead and this is the three speed it's got a button on the side We'll fill it with, we'll put the antifreeze back in and we'll be good to go. We'll purge it, purge the zones. Alright, so these two going up, go up to the first floor. And uh, one goes to this unit here, and one goes upstairs to the air handler in the um, second floor. And then this one here is another zone, but we're going to we'll plug in our pump. Our pump sucking out of this bucket. going to go in the boiler drain and up throw. Then it's going to go back through the house and back into the bucket with these two lines right here. Okay. So what I got to do is I got to I got to open these two up. We got a we got a high vent back in. We got everything open. We got our purge valves off. I didn't play with that one. We left that one alone. So we won't have to play with that one. That one will be fine. But well, it's off for now. We'll plug our pump in. We'll open one of the returns. Going into the bucket. And we'll open this up. What it's going to do is it's going to pump from the bucket into the boiler up through the system, back out into the bucket. We could open this just to back flush it is what, what's in the boiler right two hoses on it so I could switch it without, you know, shutting the pump off. There's glycol in this system. Alright, we'll 
switch over and I got the I got them bypassed open, right? We'll open this one up. Shut this one off. Now I might have to put I got this stuff to dump in there yet, right? shutting off this and this at the same time. We got good pressure there. Turn this back on. We turn this on, it's going to take 90 seconds for the heads to energize. So there's two thermostats calling, which is uh, the one on the first floor uh, is working gravity. It takes 90, takes 90 seconds for these heads to energize. speed that one's calling that one's calling it's going to take a little while to come back yeah that bull's starting to come back warm now so that's good take that hose off and I put that funnel in that hose and I poured water in the funnel and it drained out the hose so the hose is not blocked so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some water in the pump see if it pumps
might be right. She says the pump wasn't working. juice in there and see if it pumps. pumping. Mm. I don't know what she's talking about. Alright, it's definitely heating up here now. Definitely heating up here now.